Well, more than a quarter million people die at home every year when they don't recognize the symptoms of a heart attack. As one local woman tells us, living a healthy lifestyle can help you survive. I had um, typical heart attack symptoms. I was awakened in the middle of the night with pain down my left arm. A healthy 47-year-old with no family history of heart disease, Jennifer Harlan went to the ER five years ago with what she suspected was a heart attack. Had a bunch of tests run, everything came back mostly normal, so I was sent home. So about two days later, I had the same symptoms, but I chose to ignore them. In fact, she ignored them for three more days. It was determined that I had been having a major heart attack for about the course of the last five days. Something this cardiac nurse at Rose Medical Center says she, of all people, should have caught sooner. I spent years at the bedside lecturing patients who said that they had been having symptoms of heart attack for days and didn't seek help. And I didn't understand that at all until it was me. So this is Jennifer's heart angiogram. Dr. Sam Mehta says Jennifer had what's known as a spontaneous coronary artery dissection, better known as SCAD. Here is a tear in the artery right which basically means that without any discernible reason, there was a tear in one of Jennifer's heart arteries. When that heart artery tore, the splitting of the heart artery decreased blood flow to her heart and actually caused a heart attack. While relatively rare, SCAD is diagnosed more often in women than men. It seems to occur around the time of menopause. We've also noticed this happening at the time of childbirth. And occasionally it happens to the same patient a second time. Jennifer had a second attack three years after the first. I knew what it was this time. I didn't wait a week to seek help. I went to the emergency room immediately. Because she recognized the symptoms early, the second time was less serious. Her lifestyle helped too. Probably because she's been so healthy, the flow down the artery was totally preserved. And keeping healthy in both body and mind is the message she wants others to take away from her story. So you may say, yes, healthy people can have heart attacks too, but if you're a healthy person, you're more likely to survive it. And the primary heart attack symptoms, these are important, this is specifically for women. Chest pain, pain or discomfort in one or both arms, shortness of breath, sweating, and nausea. And Jennifer was experiencing three of them when she realized that something was wrong.